On this channel, we've showcased the Composer agent, a part of Code LLM. And we've done this multiple times because it's an agentic AI IDE that truly has it all. From being a powerful agent, to having MCP connectors, to having smart autocomplete, and all the way to having a seamless integration with large code bases and so much more. In short, Code LM is a revolutionary new AI code editor that can help you 10x your developer productivity. Think of it as a cheaper, more customizable alternative to Cursor, Windsurf, and GitHub Copilot, but with more add-ons. And now it has gotten even better. Code LM has become one of the best agentic AI code agents that are available today, thanks to some huge upgrades that were recently rolled out by the Abacus AI team. The Composer agent and the entire Code LM platform has seen a massive update to its agent capabilities, making them smarter, faster, and more reliable across complex coding tasks. In fact, Code LM now ranks number one in the JavaScript category on the Multi Sway Bench leaderboard, one of the most respected benchmarks in AI coding. It also scores a 48 score on the overall Sway Bench which is an impressive performance across a wide range of software engineering tasks. And on top of all of this, Code LM secures a score of 24 on the multi-sway bench leaderboard, which is cementing its place among the top AI coding agents that are out there. And remember guys, this is an AI IDE that gets you access to different large language models. You have the ability to use the agent composer for autonomous coding with different agent modes. You even have the ability to ask AI about your code and make changes across your overall code base. You have diff edits. You even have the ability to insert codes directly from the chat interface. You can upload images generating code. And a bonus is that you get access to all the different suite of tools a part of Abacus AI, meaning that you get access to chat LM, which is a way for you to access different large language models with this application which is another suite of tool that you can easily access if you are to pay for Code LM, which is $10 per user build monthly. And within that plan, you get access to Chat LM, as well as their computer agent, deep agent, and multiple other tools are part of Abacus AI suite of tools. Just take a look at this demo where the composer agent effortlessly creates a JavaScript app that visualizes an arithmetic expression parse tree based off the user input. And it actually builds out the binary tree structure, the correct nodes and connectors. And it makes the entire expression easy to see and understand visually. And the best part is the Composer agent handles this so well because it's ranked number one on the JavaScript benchmark in the Sway Bench verified test. And you can really see the performance shine in this example. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And guys, to get started, use the link in the description below and head over to Code LM's website and click on get started. This will prompt you to sign up. And once you have signed up or logged in, you can then click on Code LM on the bottom left. But you can see there's multiple other tools that you can access from Abacus AI. But you can click on Code LM and then you can download it for whatever operating system you have, whether that's Mac, Linux, or Windows. So simply click on Download Code LM. After you have installed Code LM, you're going to be then greeted with this main dashboard of the IDE. You can simply go ahead and open up any code base you may have. And on the right hand panel, you're going to be able to access the different modes. You have the code mode, which is where you're going to be able to use the chat or the agent to autonomously execute any sort of task that you give it in natural language. This is where you can provide context, you can open files, you can even upload images, and you can select all of these different state of the art models to help you within the agent mode to autonomously create anything. Within the chat mode, you would want to ideally use this to interact and ask questions to get a better grasp of what your code base is and to see if there's any sort of errors that you can find within the chat mode. Now, there's also a specific chat mode that you can select, and this is where you can use it so that you can ask it any general purpose question and get any sort of answer back, like talking about the Python for Fibonacci series, and you can see that it 
outputs a simple implementation of this within the chat mode. Now, one thing I also want to make sure that you know is that you have the ability to configure the MCP tools. And this is where you can add a new MCP tool within the settings.json file. And this is where you can simply go ahead and add any sort of MCP you would want from any marketplace. And overall, if you are to send in any sort of prompt without even selecting the best model, you're going to be able to get a really good answer. And this is because the Composer agent has been improved with enhanced agenda capabilities where it supports more advanced multi-step reasoning and can handle complex coding workflows. And in this case, you can see that I'm asking it to create a JavaScript web app that allows users to input a mathematical expression and it's going to be able to uh, output and parse that expression into a binary tree structure. And you can see right now it is, it is autonomously working on generating this app that I had requested. And in this case, you can actually manually accept all the files that it works on. And something cool is that the Composer agent also has the ability to run terminal-based commands. And you can see that it will ask you every single time if you leave it on this, but you can also have it so that it runs it automatically all on its own. And in this case, you can see that it's running the Python command and it will autonomously execute these different commands for you. And just like that, it was able to create our JavaScript web app quite quickly for us. And in this case, you can enter in any sort of expression and it is going to be then visualized within this tree visualizer. And this was all done within a couple of seconds with the help of the composer agent. And like I mentioned, it is upgraded to be a multi-agent uh, framework, which is going to be able to intelligently switch between different agent modes. And this way it's going to be able to tackle different tasks more efficiently. And it's going to be able to improve the generation, which is going to be more versatile and reliable. And remember guys, you also have many of these basic features like inline edits. You also have it so that you can add a certain section of the code snippet directly within the chat. And you can see that it has now added it within that chat interface. Uh, you also have it so that if you highlight a certain section, you can edit it and make changes with different models directly within the code file itself. And something cool that I realized is that if you are to click on the file button, you can actually select different files that you want to add with this new select option, which is pretty cool. And what I've also realized is that it is something that does a better job in terms of having the ability to integrate with larger code bases. And the reason why I say that is because with this new agent support with multi agents, it's able to more effectively understand traverse through multiple files that you might have within a code base and edit the large code base for you. So this way you can see that within this example, I'm asking it to try to find as many bugs as possible and fix it for me. And you can see right now it is going to analyze all the different context files that I had provided and it's going to work on its best to see if there's any sort of error and it's going to fix it for me. And you can see right now it has identified a couple of issues and there's actually checkpoints. So if there's something that you want to revert to, you can actually do so within the chat interface as well. And you can see that it is really easy to see different changes that it's working on. So overall, if you want to restore a checkpoint, you can scroll back to the previous generation and you can click on it and you can restore back to the previous edits. But overall, this autonomous AI coder powered by the new agent mode is something that will be able to easily prototype any sort of application for you within a couple of minutes. And you can see how easy it is for me to create something like an AI course web app. And just like that, it was able to thoroughly develop this AI Codemaster AI course website. And you can see that it did a pretty good job in creating the main landing page for it with interactive uh, pop-ups and animations and a basic typical AI SaaS landing page. But overall, it did a great job in doing this. But you can see that the generation is faster a bit better than before and overall it works best with the larger code base if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily ai news and exclusive content plus a lot more and that's basically it for today's video on CodeLM. I highly recommend that you take a look at this because not only do you get access to the Composer agent, which is going to 
increase your productivity with the various sorts of projects you may have, but you're also going to be able to get access to different sorts of suite of tools, a part of Abacus AI like ChatLM, where you can access these theater of the art models in one singular area. You also have many of these other features that you would get with other IDEs like Cursor or even something like Windsurf. And this is actually at a cheaper price and with the same sort of performance. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and found this to be helpful. Use the link in the description below to get started. But with that thought, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the second channel. Follow me on the newsletter. Join our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Like this video. And please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.